I'm Leo. It's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Looks like you want to reconcile with someone. All right, or somebody wants to reconcile with you. Let's see what's going on here, Leo. All right. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, let's see what's going on now, Leo. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Somebody wants to do something with you. They will reach out to you. They just want to throw their hat in the ring. Whatever they need to say, whatever they need to do, they just want to do it. Okay? They want to travel with you. They want to travel to you. The Four of Wands, again, they want to reconcile with you. You understand that maybe there's you know, a bit of friction between the two of you. Um, there's some friskiness also, some playful banter between the two of you also. Um, this could be a love affair. It doesn't have, you know, a title, but uh, there's a lot of affection, of passion between you and someone else here. Um, the Nine of Cups here, maybe even some good sex. Somebody, I mean, this just seems like fun times. Um, uh, luxury, fun, uh, emotional fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. It just seems as if somebody, you know, does it for you or you do it for them. It might be that you guys are estranged. You, you're not together. And uh, either you or the other person is hoping, wishing that you come back together. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, they could be thinking about you over and over again, even while they work. Thinking about the investment that they've made in you. Someone could feel like they're more invested than the other. Um, it, they could feel like this is a cyclical relationship where we go through cycles of it's really intense. We love each other and we're on top of each other. To we're not even talking or we're not talking as much or it seems as if it's dying. With the Eight of Pentacles, somebody could be saying, look, I don't have time for love. I'm trying to focus on money, work, my craft, my business. I'm busy right now, okay? And the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, someone could be saying, you know, and they're also seeing clearly, too. They understand, you know, it's something about being calculated or, or they're putting together something that makes sense now. When he said this or he did that or she said this and did that, it's making sense that now, you know, it's, as I put it all together, I can understand clearly. I have absolute clarity here so much clarity that it could be causing me some conflict i could be thinking right i could be thinking wrong i could be overthinking but i'm at a place of where i feel like i'm in that ace of swords energy where my mind is sharp what i am thinking about is truth okay i have found clarity so this could be what you're saying leo or what someone else is saying yeah the queen of cups someone saying look i've been listening to my intuition listen to how i feel this is truth. This is my truth. And I feel like I need to just work on me, developing myself, my intuition, my gifts. I may come off as self-centered, but this is where I am. I need to do this for me. <clears throat> Someone could be saying um, with the Queen of Cups, I just need to maintain my emotional stability. Also, I don't need people, places, things, situations, arguments destabilizing me where I'm coming unraveled I'm getting out of character I'm breaking down I'm falling apart I have to be strong in my emotional self right now I have to nurture myself okay ten of pentacles maybe because somebody's trying to fulfill some long-term goals here and they have long-term goals in sight and this is what they're after and they understand that in order to see that through I need to develop myself um, the Ten of Pentacles says that some some of you could be staying home a lot or, you know, yes, yeah, staying home, resting at home. Um, it says that you are going to stay with something or with someone due to legacy, due to um, seeing it through empire. Also, the Ten of Pentacles says happy, organized people build empires. And I think that's what you're trying to do, Leo, in terms of cutting people out and cutting off negative vibes, energy. It just doesn't serve you. Is it going to make you a happy, organized person that builds an empire? No. So it's just about 
saying no and moving forward. You also could be dealing with somebody who's already coupled, already married, if you are. It says that maybe that person and their spouse have nothing in common, but it also says that they're not leaving because they're dedicated to the legacy, to seeing it through, to the family, to the name, to the brand, whatever. Let's see. The King of Cups, yep, somebody's already married here. Um, and it is you, Leo, it says that, you know, you're dedicated to seeing this through. You're dedicated to uh, what you built with this person. You could have real estate, homes, investments, um, or this person has that. And, and they're just not ready. I don't think they'll ever be ready with the Ten of Pentacles coming out, ready to divide that or unravel that. You had the Ten of Swords, and that might just um, cause some utter devastation for you or the other person. Wherever you fit in this in this uh, energy, you know, Ten of Swords, it's going to collapse. It's going to fall apart. You will be devastated, or there will be devastation. There will be the inability to cope with the fact that you thought this person would choose you, or they would choose to be single, or they would give you an option, you know, or present an option here. Or vice versa, this is how someone feels about you, Leo. They feel devastated. They're waiting for your call, your text. They're waiting for you to change your mind with the Ten of Swords here. This is the fullness of a thing when you get to the Ten. So if something is full to capacity, there's no room for any more, right? So this is, this is just it. There's no making it better because there's no room for that. There's no more making it worse. There's no room for that either. This is it. This is what you get in this connection with whomever, with the job, with the family. I don't know. Um, maybe your family utterly devastates you and um, pushes buttons here with uh, with you. So, get some focus. All right. Let's get some advice. What's the advice for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? These cards upside down. Yep, they are. Let's see advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. The Empress. You are the Empress. Some of you are the other woman, okay? And also said so you can create what it is you really want. You are the desired one, okay? Um, you're the desirable one. You're the abundant one. The the flourishing one. There's fertility with you. You could be into beauty, fashion. People see you, okay? Um, this person sees you. Um you're an influencer. You could be making money by doing this thing that you do. Um, money is coming in, it's going out. You find balance with money. Maybe not a whole lot of profit, um, but you're definitely finding balance. You're paying bills. You know, the bills come in, you pay them, you move on. Um, yeah, somebody is out for themselves. They're trying to masquerade around you like they really want the, the, the connection, the family life with you. Or that they would actually choose you. But they're out to get what it is they can get from you. Out of the connection here. Because they're sneaking away from something else to come to you. They're trying to go undetected, uncovered, unscathed. Don't find me out. This is somebody who has singular uh, agenda, approach. They don't care about the whole right now. It's about getting what you can get. This is the deceiver. All right, Leo. I hope that it resonates for you for the next 72 hours. Uh, the energy could change. It could shift. Um, if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website. Ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.